and the whirlwind of modern life, where each day seems to chase the other in a ceaseless sprint. It's easy for the flames of romance to dwindle into mere sparks. Yet, it's never too late to fan those sparks into a roaring fire. To rekindle the warmth and passion that may have been lost amidst life's relentless pace. Herein lies a guide, a beacon if you will, to navigating the waters back to a more loving and vibrant relationship. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, intertwined with contemporary insights. Let us embark on a journey to reignite the embers of love. Like the sage teachings of Gaguzi. The first step in revitalizing your romance is to delve deep into understanding the intrinsic nature of your partner. Every individual craves to be understood, to be seen beyond the surface. Spend time reflecting on your partner's desires, fears, and dreams. This profound understanding forms the bedrock of a renewed emotional connection. Communication is the vessel through which love flows. Mastering the modes of expression, as taught by Gaguzi, means not only sharing your thoughts and feelings, but doing so in a way that resonates with your partner. Whether through heartfelt letters, thoughtful messages, or face-to-face -face conversations. Ensure your words bridge any distance rather than widen it. Harness the Gaguzi philosophy of persuasion not to manipulate, but to inspire and uplift. Use your words and actions to remind your partner of the love and admiration you have for them. Highlight their strengths, support their dreams, and show unwavering belief in their capabilities. In the journey of rekindling romance, honesty is paramount. Be truthful about your feelings, desires, and concerns. Encourage your partner to do the same, creating a relationship where open and honest communication thrives. Free from the shadows of deceit. Just as Gaguzi emphasizes the role of emotions in persuasion, recognize and validate both your emotions and those of your partner. Whether it's joy, sadness, or frustration, sharing and understanding these feelings can significantly deepen your bond. Life is an ever-evolving journey, and so is love. Be adaptable in your relationship, willing to grow and change together. This might mean compromising on small matters, supporting each other through life changes, or finding new hobbies to enjoy together. Sprinkle your conversations and messages with idioms that capture the essence of your feelings. Phrases like you're the apple of my eye or together, we can weather any storm add a poetic touch to your expressions of love, making them all the more memorable. Bring your love story to life with real life examples of your affection. Perhaps recreate your first date, revisit the place where you first met, or compile a scrapbook of your journey together. These gestures breathe life into your love story, making it feel as vibrant as ever. Strive to keep your relationship engaging by introducing elements of surprise and spontaneity. Plan unexpected date nights, write surprise love notes, or embark on an unplanned adventure together. The key is to balance the comfort of routine with the excitement of the new. Above all, maintain a deep-seated respect for each other. Cherishing the unique individual you fell in love with. Let this respect guide your actions and words, ensuring that love remains the cornerstone of your relationship. By weaving these steps into the fabric of your relationship, you embark on a journey not just to rekindle romance, but to foster a deeper, more loving connection with your partner. Like the masterful narratives inspired by the late night show legends, let your love story be one filled with emotion, understanding, and enduring affection. In the vast ocean of financial opportunities, the journey of investing can often feel like setting sail into uncharted waters. The excitement of potential treasures ahead competes with the trepidation of unknown risks lurking beneath the surface. Yet, guided by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and armed with modern insights, one can navigate these waters with the confidence of a seasoned captain. This tale is not just about wealth accumulation, it's a voyage towards financial enlightenment. Our journey begins with understanding the human nature of investing. The market, much like a tempestuous sea, is moved by the winds of human emotion, greed and fear, hope and despair. Gaguzi teaches us the importance of understanding these undercurrents. Just as a sailor reads the stars, an investor must read the market's mood anticipating shifts and steering clear of perilous waters. 
The key is not to be swayed by the siren songs of speculative bubbles or the monsters of market crashes, but to navigate with a clear mind and steady heart. Mastery of speech, or in our context, the language of investing, is our next lesson. The world of finance is awash with jargon, stocks, bonds, ETFs, mutual funds. Each serves a purpose, each carries its risk and reward. Yet, to communicate effectively with the market, one must master this language. Knowing when to hold fast to your investments or when to tack away requires an understanding of these terms. Like a captain calling orders to his crew, clarity and decisiveness in your investment choices are paramount. The utilization of rhetorical techniques in investment strategy cannot be understated. Persuasion plays a role not just in convincing others, but in convincing ourselves of our investment choices. Logical argumentation supports the case for diversified portfolios. Emotional appeals draw us towards socially responsible investments. Ethical considerations guide us away from speculative gambles. Each decision is a dialogue, a negotiation between different facets of our desires and fears. Discernment between truth and falsehood is as crucial in investing as it is in ancient philosophy. The financial world is rife with misleading signals and false profits. The ability to differentiate genuine opportunities from deceptive traps is a skill honed over time. It requires a keen eye, a skeptical mind, and an open heart, skeptical towards too-good-to-be-true promises, open to learning from the market's infinite wisdom. Emotions play a significant role in the art of investing. Fear can lead to panic selling at the bottom of the market. Greed can drive reckless investments at the peak of a bubble. Deguzzi emphasizes understanding and appealing to the emotional states of others, but in investing, we must first master our emotions. This self-mastery is what separates the successful investors from those lost at sea. Lastly, adaptability in communication, or in our case, investment strategy, is key to surviving and thriving in the ever-changing financial landscape. The market is a dynamic entity, influenced by global events, economic cycles, and technological advancements. Flexibility and the ability to tailor one's portfolio to the shifting tides can make the difference between a fruitful voyage and a shipwreck. To weave through the narrative of investing, let's anchor it with a real-life example. Consider the story of a young sailor embarking on their first voyage. They begin with a small, sturdy ship, a diversified portfolio of stocks and bonds. As they learn the ropes, they encounter storms, market downturns, and calm seas, bull markets. Over time, they adjust their sails, sometimes taking on more adventurous routes, riskier investments, as they become more skilled navigators. The journey is not without its perils, but guided by the principles of Gaguzi and equipped with the knowledge of the seas. They reach their destination, a secure and prosperous financial future. In closing, the art of investing, much like the art of storytelling, is a blend of knowledge, intuition, and emotion. It's a journey that requires patience, discipline, and a willingness to learn from both success and failure. Guided by ancient wisdom and modern understanding, we can all become master navigators of the financial seas, charting a course towards our own treasure islands. In the grand tapestry of human emotion, love, with its myriad hues, paints the most vibrant picture. It's a universal sentiment, yet as unique as a fingerprint, varying greatly from one person to another. Imagine, if you will, a story that delves into the intricate dance of love languages, those subtle yet profound ways we express and receive love. This exploration, inspired by the wisdom of the ancient text Deguzi, seeks not just to entertain but to enlighten, drawing on the art of persuasion and the deep understanding of human nature. Our journey begins with the tale of Alex and Jordan, a couple standing at the precipice of their relationship, teetering between deep connection and misunderstanding. Alex, a wordsmith, finds love in the whispers of sweet nothings and the power of written vows, embodying the love language of words of affirmation. Jordan, on the other hand, is a doer, a believer in acts of service, where love is not just spoken but shown in every thoughtful deed, no matter how small. As our story unfolds, we see the challenges that arise when love languages clash. The nights when Alex's carefully penned poems, meant to bridge hearts, 
fall on confused ears. The mornings when Jordan's meticulously brewed coffee, a silent testament to their devotion, goes unnoticed. It's a narrative as old as time, yet as fresh as the morning dew, highlighting the complexities of human behavior and the critical importance of understanding one's partner. Guided by the teachings of Gaguzi, we uncover the mastery of speech and the utilization of rhetorical techniques. Alex learns the art of expressing love not just through poetry, but through actions that speak directly to Jordan's heart. In a poignant scene, Alex repairs an old watch of Jordan's, a gesture that says, I hear you, I see you, I love you, louder than any sonnet. Jordan, in turn, discovers the power of words, leaving notes of appreciation for Alex, small beacons of light that warm Alex's soul. The story is peppered with idioms that enrich the narrative, like actions speak louder than words and the pen is mightier than the sword, illustrating the balance between their love languages. Real-life examples are seamlessly woven into the fabric of our tale, from the couple who rekindled their love by learning each other's love languages, to the individual who found self-love by understanding their own primary language. As we navigate through the ebbs and flows of Alex and Jordan's relationship, the wisdom of discernment between truth and falsehood comes to the fore. They learn to see through the veils of their own insecurities, recognizing the genuine expressions of love that had always been there, waiting to be understood. The role of emotions, as emphasized by Gaguzi, plays a pivotal role in our story. It's not just about understanding or speaking the right language, it's about feeling it, embodying it. Our tale takes a deep dive into the emotional states of our characters, their vulnerabilities, their fears, and ultimately, their growth. Adaptability and communication is the final piece of the puzzle. Alex and Jordan's journey teaches us that love languages are not static, they evolve as we do. The ability to tailor one's expressions of love to the changing dynamics of a relationship is the hallmark of true understanding and connection. In the closing scene, we find Alex and Jordan no longer on the precipice, but firmly standing on the bridge they've built together. It's a testament to the power of understanding, communication, and the willingness to adapt, the true colors of love. This story, a blend of ancient wisdom and modern-day relevance, is a reminder that the language of love is as diverse as humanity itself. It challenges us to look beyond the surface, to listen with our hearts, and to speak in the language that resonates with the ones we love. In the end, it's not just about being heard, it's about being understood. In the whirlwind of today's fast-paced world, it's easy to lose sight of the one thing that should be our top priority, our mental health. With the constant barrage of notifications, the endless scrolling through social media, and the daily grind that leaves us more exhausted than fulfilled, it's crucial to take a step back and focus on what truly matters. Here, we'll explore 10 simple habits rooted in ancient wisdom and modern psychology, designed to uplift your mental well-being and bring a sense of balance and joy back into your life. Start your day with gratitude. Before the sun kisses the horizon and the world awakens, take a moment to reflect on what you're thankful for. Gratitude is a powerful tool that shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, cultivating a sense of contentment that can carry you through the day. Like a gentle stream of water that smooths over the roughest stones, gratitude softens the edges of our frustrations and challenges, reminding us of the beauty that surrounds us. Embrace the art of listening to yourself. In the cacophony of life, our inner voice often gets drowned out. Yet, understanding human nature, as Gaguzi taught, begins with understanding ourselves. Dedicate time to listen to your thoughts and feelings without judgment. This self-reflection is a cornerstone of mental health, allowing us to navigate our emotions and actions with greater clarity and purpose. Cultivate Mindfulness Mindfulness is the gentle act of being fully present in the moment, embracing each experience as it unfolds. By anchoring ourselves in the now, we can observe our thoughts and emotions without being swept away by them. This practice, akin to observing the ebb and flow of the tide, teaches us the impermanence of our experiences, fostering resilience and peace. Connect with nature. Nature, in its boundless beauty, has a way of putting our lives into perspective. Whether it's a walk in the park, a hike through the woods, or simply sitting under the canopy of a tree, connecting with the natural world can ground us, reduce stress, and enhance our mood. 
like the ancient poets who found wisdom in the whisper of the leaves and the song of the brook, we too can find solace and inspiration in the embrace of Mother Nature. Exercise regularly. Movement is a celebration of what our bodies can do, and regular exercise is a testament to our resilience and strength. Whether it's yoga, running, dancing, or any form of physical activity that you enjoy, exercise releases endorphins, known as the body's natural mood lifters. In the dance of life, let exercise be your rhythm, your escape, and your joy. Nourish your body. Our bodies are our temples, and what we feed them can have a profound impact on our mental health. A balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins, can boost our mood, energy levels, and overall well-being. Like a skillful chef who knows the perfect blend of ingredients, understand the nourishment your body needs to thrive. Foster meaningful relationships. Human connection is the thread that binds the fabric of our lives. Cultivating deep, meaningful relationships with friends and family can provide support, joy, and a sense of belonging. In the words of Giguzi, understanding and adapting to the emotional states of others can enhance our connections, enriching our lives and the lives of those around us. Practice Kindness In a world that often seems driven by self-interest, a simple act of kindness can be a beacon of hope. Kindness, whether directed towards ourselves or others, fosters empathy and compassion, strengthening our sense of community and well-being. Like a pebble thrown into a pond, the ripples of kindness can spread far and wide, touching the lives of many. Set Boundaries Knowing when to say no is a form of self-respect. By setting healthy boundaries, we protect our time, energy, and mental health, ensuring that our needs are met. Boundaries are not barriers, but rather the guidelines that help us build respectful, fulfilling relationships with others and with ourselves. Seek joy in the simple things. Happiness is often found in the simplest of moments, a shared laugh with a friend, the warmth of the sun on your skin, the melody of a favorite song. By savoring these small pleasures, we can cultivate a sense of joy that fuels our spirit and nurtures our mental health. In weaving these habits into the tapestry of our daily lives, we honor ourselves and the journey we're on. Like the master storytellers of old, who understood the power of narrative to inspire and transform, let us craft our stories with intention, compassion, and a deep reverence for the art of living well. In the realm of wealth creation, the journey from modest savings to a formidable empire is akin to the construction of a grand edifice, each brick laid with precision, determination, and foresight. This narrative, inspired by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and infused with modern-day anecdotes, unfolds the strategic blueprint to building your financial empire, one brick at a time. The Foundation, Understanding Human Nature our tale begins in the humble abode of Alex, a young entrepreneur whose dreams towered high above the skyline. Alex understood, as Gaguzi teaches, that comprehending human nature is the cornerstone of any successful endeavor. He recognized his own strengths and weaknesses, his propensity for impulsive spending, and his tendency to shy away from risks. Armed with this self-awareness, Alex embarked on a journey of financial literacy, learning to harness his impulses and turn them into strategic investments. The Framework, Mastery of Speech Communication is the scaffold that supports the edifice of wealth. Alex knew that to attract investors, negotiate deals, and network effectively, he needed to master the art of speech. He studied the teachings of Gaguzi, learning to adapt his pitch to the listener, whether it be a cautious lender or an enthusiastic partner. By tailoring his message, Alex was not just heard, he was understood and trusted. The Walls, Utilization of Rhetorical Techniques As Alex's venture began to take shape, he encountered skepticism and resistance. Drawing upon Deguzzi's wisdom, he employed rhetorical strategies to persuade and influence. When faced with doubt, he shared stories of successful entrepreneurs, their challenges, and triumphs, tapping into the emotional core of his audience. Through logical argumentation and ethical considerations, Alex gradually turned skepticism into support, building the walls of his empire with the bricks of belief and confidence. The Roof, Discernment Between Truth and Falsehood 
in the world of business, the reign of deceit can seep through the smallest cracks. Alex learned to discern between genuine advice and misleading guidance, protecting his budding empire from the storms of falsehood. This discernment was not just a shield but a beacon, attracting like-minded individuals who valued honesty and integrity. Together, they fortified the roof of their enterprise, creating a sanctuary of trust and authenticity. The Windows, Roll of Emotions Emotions, the windows to our soul, illuminate the interior of our financial edifice. Alex realized that understanding and appealing to the emotions of his team, investors, and customers was crucial. He celebrated successes with genuine joy and faced setbacks with steadfast resilience, sharing these emotions openly. This emotional transparency fostered a culture of loyalty and dedication, allowing light to perpetually shine through the windows of their collective endeavor. The Doors, Adaptability and Communication Finally, the doors of Alex's empire swung wide open, inviting opportunities from all directions. This adaptability and communication, a key teaching from Gaguzi, meant that Alex could welcome challenges, negotiate changes, and embrace diversity. His ability to listen, learn, and pivot opened numerous pathways to growth, ensuring that the doors of opportunity were always ajar. Conclusion From Savings to Empire Alex's journey from modest savings to a formidable empire is a testament to the power of strategic planning, self-awareness, and effective communication. Drawing inspiration from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and integrating real-life examples, this narrative underscores the importance of building your wealth brick by brick. Each brick represents a lesson learned, a challenge overcome, or an opportunity seized. And it is within everyone's grasp to lay these bricks with purpose and precision, constructing not just a financial empire, but a legacy that stands tall against the test of time. In the grand tapestry of human interaction, the threads of communication weave the most intricate patterns, binding us in a dance of connection and understanding. Yet, as fluid as this dance might seem, it often encounters snags, barriers that hinder the fluidity of our interactions. Drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, coupled with the narrative finesse of modern storytelling, this tale explores how strategic communication techniques can fortify relationships, turning potential discord into harmonious symphonies. Understanding human nature, the bedrock of connection. At the heart of any strong relationship lies a profound understanding of human nature. Like the ancient sages, we must recognize that every individual carries a universe within them. Complex, nuanced, and rich in emotions. It's not merely about acknowledging the presence of these emotional landscapes but truly venturing into them with empathy and curiosity. Imagine you're crafting a narrative where you're not just an observer, but a character deeply invested in the plot. This shift in perspective is pivotal for genuine connection. Mastery of speech, the palette of expression. Communication is an art, and our words are the strokes that paint this ever-evolving masterpiece. However, just as a painting requires more than one hue, Effective communication demands versatility in speech. Consider the late-night show hosts who adeptly switch between humor, seriousness, and compassion. They understand their audience's pulse, adapting their delivery to resonate deeply. Similarly, in our interactions, mastering the art of tailoring our speech to the moment can bridge gaps, turning misunderstandings into shared understanding. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, the art of persuasion. Persuasion is often misunderstood as manipulation. However, in the essence of Gaguzi's teachings, it's about aligning perspectives, finding common ground. Through logical argumentation, we appeal to reason. Through emotional appeals, we touch hearts. And through ethical considerations, we build trust. Imagine a scenario where differing opinions threaten a relationship. Employing these techniques with sincerity can transform conflict into a constructive dialogue, paving the way for mutual respect and understanding. Discernment between truth and falsehood, the compass of integrity. In a world brimming with information, discerning the authentic from the deceptive becomes crucial. This discernment is not just about what we consume, but also about what we contribute to our interactions. 
Honesty and transparency foster trust, the cornerstone of any strong relationship. Like a narrator who guides their audience through a story with integrity. We must navigate our relationships with the same commitment to truth. Role of emotions, the heartbeat of connection. Emotions are the lifeblood of our connections. They color our interactions, imbuing them with depth and meaning. Acknowledging and validating the emotions of others and sharing our own creates a resonance that transcends words. It's like a poignant scene in a narrative that stays with the audience long after the tale is told. In relationships, these shared emotional experiences build a bond that is both resilient and tender. Adaptability in communication, the dance of flexibility. Finally, flexibility in communication is akin to improvisation in a dance. No two interactions are the same, and our ability to adapt our approach to the unique rhythm of each relationship is key to maintaining harmony. Whether it's adjusting our tone, our choice of words, or our method of delivery, this adaptability ensures that our message not only reaches but also positively impacts the other person. In weaving these ancient philosophies with the narrative charm of today's storytelling, this exploration into communication techniques offers a blueprint for stronger, more resilient relationships. Just as a master raconteur captivates their audience from start to finish, so too can we engage in our interactions, transforming every conversation into a bridge that connects, heals, and enriches. In the dazzling world of financial innovation, cryptocurrency stands as a beacon of change, promising a revolution that could redefine our understanding of money. But for many, the concept remains enshrouded in mystery. A complex web of technology and finance that seems as impenetrable as the algorithms that underpin it. Today, let's embark on a journey to demystify this digital enigma. Guided by the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative finesse of late-night storytelling. Imagine, if you will, a world where money is not bound by the physical constraints of coins and banknotes. Where transactions flow as freely as thoughts and where the traditional guardians of finance, the banks and governments, play a much diminished role. This is the world of cryptocurrency, a realm where Bitcoin reigns supreme, followed by a host of others like Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin, each with its own unique features and aspirations. At its heart, cryptocurrency is about freedom and flexibility. Much like the ancient teachings of Gaguzi, it emphasizes the importance of understanding the underlying nature of what drives us. In this case, our financial systems. Cryptocurrency offers an alternative to the traditional fiat currencies controlled by central authorities, proposing instead a decentralized system where transactions are verified by a network of peers. This network operates on a technology called blockchain, a digital ledger that records every transaction in a secure, transparent, and immutable way. Think of it as a vast, interconnected web where each node holds a copy of the entire ledger. This ensures that no single entity can control or manipulate the system, embodying Gaguzi's principle of discernment between truth and falsehood. But how does one use this digital currency? Imagine buying a cup of coffee with Bitcoin. You scan the cafe's QR code with your smartphone, and in a matter of seconds, the transaction is verified by the network and recorded on the blockchain. It's swift, secure, and, most importantly, borderless. This adaptability in communication, a key tenet of Gaguzi's teachings, is what makes cryptocurrency so appealing. Yet, for all its advantages, Cryptocurrency is not without its challenges. Volatility is a major concern, with prices capable of dramatic swings within a short period. This unpredictability can be daunting, yet it also presents opportunities for those willing to navigate the turbulent waters of digital finance. It's here that the mastery of speech and understanding of human nature, as advocated by Gaguzi, become crucial. By educating oneself and others about the risks and rewards, we can foster a more informed and resilient community of users. Incorporating real-life examples, we've seen individuals from all walks of life embrace cryptocurrency. From the tech-savvy entrepreneur who sees it as the future of commerce, to the migrant worker who uses it to send remittances back home without hefty fees. 
the impact of digital currencies is far-reaching. These stories enrich the narrative of cryptocurrency, adding depth and relatability to a concept that can seem abstract and distant. As we weave through the intricacies of cryptocurrency, employing idioms and real-life samples to enrich our tale, we're reminded of the balance between innovation and engagement. Cryptocurrency is not just a technological marvel, it's a new way of thinking about and interacting with the financial world. It challenges us to question the status quo, to explore beyond the familiar, and to consider a future where money is not just an object, but a fluid and dynamic force. In closing, as we stand on the brink of this financial frontier, let us approach cryptocurrency not with fear, but with curiosity and an open mind. By drawing on the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi and the narrative techniques of today, we can navigate the complexities of digital dollars, making sense of a concept that has the potential to transform our lives in profound ways. The journey into the world of cryptocurrency is just beginning, and the possibilities, just like the blockchain, are limitless. In an era where the line between the virtual and the real increasingly blurs, the quest for authentic connections has never been more challenging or more crucial. As a master raconteur, drawing from the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi combined with a narrative style reminiscent of late night show luminaries like Jimmy Kimmel, I embark on a tale that navigates the complexities of maintaining genuine relationships in the age of social media. Once upon a modern time, there were two friends, Alex and Jamie, who epitomized the digital age friendship. Their story began with a chance encounter on a social media platform, a comment on a post that sparked a conversation, leading to a deep, albeit virtual, friendship. They shared memes, tagged each other in posts, and the ding of a received message was a constant in their daily lives. Yet, they had never met in person. This peculiar modern-day kinship serves as our embarkation point into exploring the essence of connection in the digital age. Gaguzi teaches us the importance of understanding human nature. Alex and Jamie, despite their digital camaraderie, yearned for a more profound connection. This longing is a testament to the innate human desire for genuine relationships, an emotional anchor in the tumultuous sea of life. Social media, with all its convenience, often masks this craving with an illusion of connection. The story of Alex and Jamie reveals the mastery of speech necessary in nurturing relationships, even digital ones. Their conversations, filled with idioms like a picture is worth a thousand words or out of sight, out of mind, added depth to their digital dialogue. However, the true test came when they decided to meet in person. It was a leap of faith from text to voice, from emojis to expressions. This transition from the virtual to the real world demanded a different kind of communication. One that Gaguzi would argue requires adaptability and an understanding of the right rhetorical techniques to employ in the flesh. In an age where online personas can be meticulously crafted, discerning truth from falsehood becomes paramount. Alex and Jamie's meeting was a moment of truth, where pretenses fell away, and the genuine self came to the fore. It underscored Gaguzi's teaching on the importance of authenticity in communication and leadership. Their first meeting was awkward. The absence of a screen to hide behind exposed vulnerabilities. Yet, it was in this vulnerability that genuine connection found room to grow. Gaguzi emphasizes the role of emotions in persuasion and connection. Alex and Jamie, navigating their emotions, adapted their communication styles. The laughter, the shared silences, and even the awkward pauses contributed to a richer, more authentic relationship. This tale mirrors countless real-life stories where individuals navigate the complexities of online friendships and relationships. It serves as a reminder of the importance of seeking genuine connections in a world dominated by digital interactions. As our tale concludes, we find Alex and Jamie no longer just digital friends, but real-life companions. Their journey from online to offline friendship illuminates the path for those seeking authentic connections in the digital age. It reaffirms that genuine relationships, built on understanding, adaptability, and emotional intelligence, transcend the medium through which they are fostered. In the narrative of love and friendship in the time of social media, let us remember the teachings of Gaguzi, the mastery of speech, the discernment between truth and falsehood. 
and the indispensable role of emotions. As we navigate our digital lives, may we strive for connections that are as authentic and profound as the tales we live and tell. In the heart of a bustling city, amidst the relentless hum of daily life, there was a tale that began to unfold, a narrative that would challenge the culinary norms and health paradigms of many. This is the story of how plant-based diets began to revolutionize health, one leafy green at a time. Our journey starts with Sarah, a middle-aged office worker whose life was a testament to the phrase running on empty. Breakfast was usually a pastry grabbed on the go, lunch was a hastily consumed meat-packed sandwich, and dinner often found its origins in the depths of a freezer. It wasn't until a routine doctor's visit revealed the toll this lifestyle was taking on her health that Sarah considered a change. Enter the ancient wisdom of Gaguzi, an unexpected hero in Sarah's quest for a healthier life. While exploring the art of persuasion and strategic communication, Sarah stumbled upon the teachings of Gaguzi, which emphasized understanding human nature and the mastery of speech. It was here that she found the inspiration to not only change her dietary habits, but also to influence those around her. Understanding human nature, Sarah realized that her eating habits were deeply rooted in convenience and familiarity. By recognizing this, she began to explore plant-based options that offered these same comforts without compromising on health. Mastery of speech, armed with the knowledge that words could shape reality, Sarah became an advocate for plant-based diets. She shared her journey, employing rhetorical techniques that appealed to emotions and logic, making a compelling case for change. Utilization of rhetorical techniques, Sarah's narrative was rich with idioms that painted a vivid picture of her transformation. Phrases like turning over a new leaf and the root of the problem became staples in her storytelling, adding depth and relatability. Integration of real-life samples, perhaps the most persuasive element of Sarah's advocacy was the tangible evidence of her own health improvements. Her energy levels were up, her weight was down, and her doctor's reports were better than they had been in years. But Sarah's tale is more than just a personal victory, it's a beacon for the collective realization that our choices, what we put on our plates, have profound implications not only for our health, but for the planet. The shift towards plant-based diets isn't merely a dietary trend, it's a movement towards sustainability, compassion, and wellness. As the narrative of plant-based diets continues to unfold, it's clear that the revolution is not just in the food itself, but in the stories of those who choose to embrace it. It's a testament to the power of ancient wisdom applied to modern dilemmas, and a reminder that change, though challenging, is always within our grasp. In the end, Sarah's story is not just about eating green, it's about redefining what it means to live a healthy, fulfilled life. It's a narrative that respects the complexities of human behavior, leverages the art of persuasion, and above all, champions the power of making choices that benefit both ourselves and the world around us. In the heart of bustling New York City, amidst the cacophony of honking cars, chattering pedestrians, and the ever-present buzz of commerce, there was a man who walked the streets with a peculiar air of calmness and a distinct gleam of determination in his eyes. This man, Jonathan T. Riles, was not your typical city dweller. He was a man on a mission, a mission to transform his approach to wealth and, in turn, his life. His story, a testament to the power of the millionaire mindset, serves as a riveting narrative that embodies the wisdom of ancient philosophies and the practicality of modern-day strategies. Jonathan's journey commenced on a chilly autumn evening, as he sat in his modest apartment, surrounded by a plethora of self-help books and motivational podcasts playing in the background. It was at this moment that Jonathan had an epiphany. He realized that to alter his financial destiny, he needed to change his mindset. Drawing inspiration from the ancient Chinese philosophy of Gaguzi, Jonathan began to meticulously craft his path to wealth, grounded in understanding human nature, mastering speech, and employing strategic communication techniques. Understanding human nature was the cornerstone of Jonathan's strategy. He recognized that to thrive in any business endeavor, he needed to grasp the complexities of human behavior and motivations. This understanding allowed him to tailor his business ideas to meet the needs and desires of his target audience, ensuring that his ventures resonated on a personal level with his customers. Mastery of speech came next. 
Jonathan knew that different audiences required different modes of communication. He honed his ability to convey his business visions and ideas in a manner that was both convincing and relatable. Whether he was pitching to potential investors or marketing his products to customers, Jonathan's skillful deployment of idioms and persuasive speech techniques, a nod to the teachings of Gaguzi, made his arguments compelling and his propositions hard to resist. The utilization of rhetorical techniques was also paramount in Jonathan's approach. He adeptly employed logical argumentation, emotional appeals, and ethical considerations to sway opinions and foster trust. This strategic communication was not about manipulation, but about creating genuine connections and demonstrating the value and integrity of his business propositions. Jonathan's discernment between truth and falsehood was crucial in navigating the often murky waters of the business world. He committed to maintaining ethical standards and transparency in all his dealings, earning him the respect and loyalty of his clients and partners. Emotions played a significant role in Jonathan's success. He understood that at the heart of every business transaction was a human emotion. By appealing to the emotional states of his audience, whether it be through the storytelling of his brand or the empathetic customer service, Jonathan cultivated a strong emotional bond with his customers, turning them into advocates for his brand. Lastly, adaptability in communication was a skill that Jonathan mastered over time. He was flexible and could tailor his approach to different individuals and situations, ensuring that his message was always received in the most favorable light. Jonathan's integration of real-life examples into his business narratives enhanced his credibility and strengthened his connection with his audience. He shared stories of his failures and successes, lessons learned, and the strategies that helped him overcome obstacles. These narratives were not just tales, they were powerful tools for engagement and inspiration, making his journey relatable and his advice tangible. In conclusion, Jonathan T. Ryle's story is a compelling illustration of how the millionaire mindset, coupled with the strategic application of ancient wisdom and modern-day practices, can transform one's approach to wealth. His journey teaches us that success is not just about financial acumen, but also about understanding the art of persuasion, the importance of emotional connections, and the value of ethical leadership. It's a reminder that in the pursuit of wealth, our greatest asset is our mindset.